another tip in uh, under five minutes. Uh, this one concerns alcohol. It's really for the beginners. Some of it. Stay tuned for the other stuff. Uh, when people usually start brewing, um, when they're carbonating their bottles, a lot of my friends uh, years ago used to say to me, put more sugar in your bottles to get the alcohol up. Uh, and that's just a no-no. Everyone's heard of bottle bombs and that's what causes them. Uh, the normal amount of sugar, uh, you know, might be four or five grams you put into a 750ml bottle, um, will raise the alcohol. It's usually about half a percent, 0.5 of a percent of alcohol. That's a rough estimate because people use different uh, carbonation um, levels. But it's about half a percent. But a lot of beginners think, oh, I'll put more sugar uh, into the bottle when bottling and it, it doesn't do anything except uh, cause troubles and uh, bottle bombs. But saying that, uh, when you move to kegging and you're going to do your favorite recipe, um, you don't add extra sugar unless you're naturally carbonating the keg. But if you're just going to carbonate through the CO2 bottle, you're not adding that extra sugar. So you have to adjust your recipe for that. Um, half a percent of alcohol will make a difference. Just had to stop then, the daughter was harassing me. Uh, people in Australia have been whinging about VB, one of our famous beers, um, because they lowered the alcohol. Um, well, it was from 4.9, then to 4.8, then to 4.6, I think it was, and people were complaining about the taste. So when you adjust your recipes to move from bottling to kegging, you've got to adjust for that. Um, you want to come, to come out of the fermenter with that extra half a percent of alcohol. So it's just something to think about. Um, if you want your recipes to be exactly the same when you move from uh, bottling to kegging. All right, cheers. I better have a drink. Cheers. <laughs>